Hi, today we'll be talking about the decimal versus binary system, what they are, how they work, and how to change between them, how to convert, I guess, between one and the other, or one to another. Now here, we can see that there are, I guess it's better illustrated here, there are 10 possibilities on a base 10 for each digit, and there are only two possibilities for each digit in a base 2. So the same situation would apply in, in other, uh, other ones. It'd be uh, basically uh, they're represented. Each place is a representative of a power of 2 for a base 10. And each placement is representative of a power of 10 in a base 10. And in the same situation, a base 8 would be representative of powers of 8, and 16 would be the same situation. So a base 10 basically works like this. You have, you always start with an exponent of 0, and then you go from right to left, increasing by 1 every time. So you'll say, what is the value of my first exponent? 10 to the 0 is what? Okay, it's 1. Now you're going to take the value that is in that 1's place, and you're going to multiply it times that through the 0's place, because that's the exponent. The exponent is 0. 7 times 1 would be 7. Now, how do we get this 5 here? Now we said, okay, this is the 1's place, the power of 1's place, and we will say 10 to the 1 is what? It is 10. Now we'll take the value of 5, multiply that times 10, and we will know that it is 50. So we've got 7 so far plus 50, 57. So we're pretty close to our number. And now we will go to the power of 2, the 2's place. And we'll say 10 to the 2 is what power? Or, or what is, is what? And it's 100. So we'll say the value here is 1 times whatever that uh, product you got from multiplying the number, or the base, times that power. So in this case, we have 100 plus 50 plus 7, making 157. So pretty obvious, but that is how the decimal system works. Now if we look at the binary system, we can see that it's a little bit more complex, but also um, in other ways more simple. Simpler in the fact that we don't have to do a bunch of crazy multiplications. It's all addition and powers of two. Obviously um, just doubling the from one number to the next. So it's not that hard. It is a little bit more work sometimes than we would like for a bigger number. It's obviously going to be a lot of addition. So let's just take a basic number. For the uh, sake of time we'll take a small number. Here we have the number 10. Now let's see how we got the number 10 from this situation. It doesn't really look like 10, it looks like 1010. So let's see how we got that. First we have to recognize that each place is a representative of a power of the base. This in the case is base 2, so powers of 2. This is the 0's place, the 1's place, the 2's place, the 3's place. And it, once again, that's representative of the power, not the number. So first, what we have to decide is, are we even going to use this state? Because before we do a bunch of unnecessary math, we need to know, are we going to use this guy or not? So it says here 0. Now normally, it would we would calculate, OK, 2 to the 0 is 1, and we would add it to the grand total. But since there is a 0, we will not be adding it to the sum to find our decimal value. The next one, there is a 1. So we know that we need to use this power and add it to find our decimal value in the ground total. Now we'll say 2 to the 1 is 2. So we're going to add that to whatever uh, else we have. Once again, this is not being used. so. Instead of being 4, it will be 0 and will not be added to the total. Here's the 2 to the 3rd. There's a 1 there, so we will use it. So let's see. We have only two numbers being used in this case. 
uh, 8 and 2, making 10. So you have 0 plus 2 plus 0 plus 8, making 10. So that's a really easy way of converting from uh, base 2 to base 10. In the next video, we will be talking about how to convert from base um, 10 to base 2. A little more complicated, but definitely manageable. So thanks for listening, everybody, and we'll see you with the next video.